and welcome. I'll be walking you through the setup for the realistic decomposition asset for Unreal Engine. So in this example, I'll be using the starved male zombie for my asset store. And you can see at the start here that I also have a flesh mask. Uh, the area painted in black is the underwear that the zombie is wearing, and we're going to be using this later. So firstly, you want to create a new blueprint actor, or you can use your existing one. And we want to add a skeletal mesh component. Once we've added that, we want to select the skeletal mesh that we'll be using, and we want to open that up. But before we continue, we want to make sure that we've got the allow CPU access parameter enabled. This is going to let the Niagara system spawn particles based on points on our skeletal mesh. So next, you want to open up the master material, navigate to the material folder inside the death effects asset, and then we want to be dragging over the decay material function into your master material. If you'd like to use the opacity fade out layer at the end, make sure to change your material blend mode to mask. For opaque meshes, make it constant, set it to 1 for white, and insert it into the opacity input. For hair, fur, and other transparent materials, use your opacity layer as the input instead. Then. Simply move the inputs from your material attributes to the decay material function, and then connect the outputs. When you save and open the material instances back up, you should now have access to all of the decay material parameters. I recommend customizing them for each character for the best result. To simulate the decay, simply change any of the parameters from 0 to 1 inside the Death Effects Animated Parameters tab. This will allow you to preview the decay in real time if your material has a combination of flesh and fabric, like the zombie does here, you can use the clothing mask texture slot to allow the decay system to differentiate between the two. Make sure in these masks that the flesh is white and the fabric is black. Once you have a result you are happy with, reset all of the animated parameters back to zero, go back to your blueprint and add a new component. This time, we want to add the decay component. Once added, I'll change the delay and duration modifiers to 0.1. This will set the decay process to happen over 30 seconds. You can change these values and the total time duration to any value that suits your game. Finally, to activate the decay state, simply reference the component and call the begin decay event. The component will automatically destroy the actor once the body has faded away. I really hope you liked this asset, it was a lot of fun to make, and I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks for the support.